Today we are talking about the battles around the Steam Deck. At first I didn't really understand what's the point of doing it, but now after I've been using it for a while, I've got better idea what it's all about. So let's get into it. So what it even is Batocera you may ask? It is a Linux based operating system developed specifically for the needs of retro gamers that can turn their computer laptop or handheld into an emulation heaven. This is my first ever experience with Batocera and I gotta say it is interesting and I can see its appeal mostly in these three points. Number one. It is completely free and open source, so fully transparent. Number two, it's easy to set up, but has a free configuration. You just flash the image to SD card or USB stick and you are ready to rock and retro roll. And number three, it is built from the best emulators, from the best cores, providing you with the best possible emulation experience. In this video, we are talking specifically about the Batocera on a Steam Deck. If you own Deck, you are using either Emu Deck or Retro Deck. I'm using Emu Deck and I like it. It also has a free, easy to use. You just need to go to the website, click few buttons and it's all done for you in the matter of minutes. With Batocera, it's a bit different. It is like its own separate thing from the Steam OS. You gotta turn off your Steam Deck, put in the micro SD card with Batocera, then go into BIOS by pressing volume down and power and then select to boot from SD card, which will then take you into Batocera. It might sound like it's more work than just launching the game from the SteamOS itself, cause it is indeed more work. But are there any benefits to it? In terms of performance, uh, no, not really, there is no difference. Emulation on a Steam Deck is really big now, so everybody wants to offer you the best experience. And they are using the latest RetroArch cores or standalone emulators, which can auto-update. You know, they gotta stay ahead of the curve. Ahead of the curve. So why would anybody want to use Batocera when you gotta go through all these hoops, all these steps, in order to just launch it? Well, maybe because people wanna have it separate, you know, to have SteamOS for all your latest AAA unfinished PC ports, and to have separate SD card for all your retro emulation dreams. In this way, it kinda appeals to me. There is an icon of low memory warning on my 64 gig Steam Deck, yet again, I gotta finally upgrade my SSD. My 512 gig micro SD card is getting full too. I'm aware I can use two separate micro SD cards with one deck, but I kinda dig this Batocera solution. Will I keep using it regularly? Subscribe to find out. I haven't set up this Batocera <laughs> SD card myself. One company reached out to me if I wanna check it out, I agreed. They are selling it on AliExpress, it's all set up, ready to go, filled up to the brim with ROMs. All the links are down below. One thing I do not understand though is how these companies can get away with it. I'm getting community guideline strikes just for talking about these kind of things, making tutorials, you know, and they are freaking selling ROMs and making profit out of it, like it's nothing. Crazy world we live in. Now to my final thoughts. I like Batocera, but I like Emu Deck too. I think it's up to a personal preference which one you're going to use. I would recommend checking out both and then decide which one do you prefer. Pros of Emudec are you don't need to mess with SD cards, you just install Emudec, put ROMs in there and play. Another big advantage of Emudec in my opinion is that you can still use the shortcuts, you know, you press the button and uh, the quick menu with the brightness and all the other stuff will pop up, whereas in the Batocera it doesn't really work. You can also adjust the performance overlay level, you know, the FPS battery, voltage and whatnot. I really like those ones. Also I have noticed when I play PS2 emulation on Emudec, the audio was louder. And the pros of Batocera are that you can also use the same SD card for your other PC setups if you have any and that you can also keep your modern and retro games separate. Performance is pretty much the same. And what about you? Which one do you use? If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. If you are into handhelds, check my review of RG405M on the main channel. Thanks to you for watching. Peace out.